He had a birthday in February. This is Cappy, now much calmer. The Yorkshire Terrier let out some painful barks Saturday after an encounter with another neighborhood dog. And I just screamed, oh my God, oh my God, over and over again to the top of my lungs. And I really thought I was going to be dealing with my dog dead in my arms. Yvette Rockman was out on an early evening walk with Cappy when she says before she knew it, a pit bull terrier grabbed hold of him. Jaw was locked on his rib cage. Rockman tried her best to get Cappy free. I had to um, fight the dog and punch him in the nose several times. There's the big gash there. But the damage was already done. Cappy was left with gashes to his body. Rockman was also bitten on the arm and had to receive stitches. I don't want anyone to ever suffer that kind of um, trauma. It's, it's a tough, regrettable situation. Mark Langevin is the pit bull's owner. She's a rescue dog named Princess. Langevin, a Marine Corps vet, says she helps him deal with his post-traumatic stress disorder. Up until this point, there's not been a problem. Langevin says his wife thought Princess was safely locked in their truck Saturday, but the dog managed to bolt from the vehicle. It breaks my heart, you know, to think that something triggered her to attack another dog. Despite the attack, Langevin says any dog could have done the same and pit bulls get a bad rap, but he now vows to keep Princess on a leash. Yeah, that's, you know, I mean, everybody makes mistakes and I got, I got complacent. He's a strong little Yorkie. Brockman is thankful Cappy made it through. By God's grace, he's saved. She just wants to ensure he stays safe along with others in the neighborhood. In Mandarin, Link Keys, First Coast News, your news leader.